Let's take a look at heel down technique now, okay? Heel down technique is when you're, I'm, I'm now gonna put my whole foot on that footboard. So you can see my heel is down here, okay? And it's just back here at the heel plate. And with heel down technique, what you're doing here is you're, and with, with, with heel up, you're using a lot more of your knee. That's one thing that helps with the power. You use more knee, a little bit more toe. With heel up, all you're really doing is you're just able to use your shin, okay? Like your shin right here is kind of allowing the beater to come back, okay? Where this is really useful is if you're playing jazz, okay, where you want to have a softer bass drum pattern. So if you're playing your jazz cymbal beat, And when you're doing that, it's just like, I think of like little powder puffs, just that's all you want out of the bass drum. So heel down is great for that. Another thing I like to use heel down for too is if I'm playing a ballad. So you've been playing a bunch of high energy songs, you get to a portion where you're playing a ballad and you don't need to really give a strong kick drum sound. You can just simply get by with, you know, if you're playing You don't need a lot of volume. So again, heel down's great for that. It gives your foot a little bit of a break. So those are our two perspectives. We've got heel up and heel down. One more thing I'd like to show you. A lot of times when I, when I work with students and I, and I look at them play from over the shoulder, what I tend to notice is, is that their leg isn't necessarily aligned with the bass drum and with the bass drum pedal. Let me show you some examples of what can happen if you're not careful. Sometimes I'll see the right knee might be in here. It might be bowing inward. So it, perhaps it's, it's coming close to hitting the snare. And then sometimes it even does and the snare gets a little shimmy, a little shake. You don't want that, okay? Um, sometimes people tend to take their foot and they might put it on the footboard in sort of like an angle or an awkward way, okay? Matter of personal preference, but I find that if I have my foot aligned with the pedal and the bass drum, it's much, much easier to play. And that way you don't have your leg obstructing your snare drum or anything like that too. So when you're set up, kind of take a look down, make sure your right leg is lined up with that. And where, where should that be? Well, hopefully with your right shoulder. So even if you have your bass drum off center just a little bit with my right shoulder, coming straight down, I have a nice line. My bass drum was here in the center. My body would probably be shifted a little bit more, but still, right from the shoulder, it's in line. So, a couple things to think about. Heel up, heel down technique, using whichever one works for you. When you're playing, letting that beater come off the bass drum head for a good full sound. And with the alignment of the bass drum with your foot, making sure that's in good placement. See you next time.